Evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's 6 p.m. Uh, Tuesday, September 8th. Town of Grand Rapids meeting at the fire station. First item on our agenda is a public hearing. The purpose of the public hearing is to consider and receive public input on the following. Change to Ordinance 39, which is regulating scheduling of schedule of fees and forfeitures. Amending Section 39.4, Table of Forfeitures, to revise the fee amount for Ordinance 24 violations to read as follows. Ordinance 24, violation of building code ordinance provision. New fee, $25 to $1,000. Second section, failure to obtain required inspections, $250. Public hearing is, is now open. Anybody wishing to speak against this ordinance change, please make your comments. Anybody wishing to speak against the changes? Third and final time, anybody wishing to speak against the changes? Hearing none, we'll move, the, move to those that are positive. Anybody wishing to speak in favor of the changes? Anybody wish to speak in favor of the changes? Third and final time, anybody wish to speak in favor of the changes? Hearing no comments, either for or against, I'll now call the public hearing close and we'll move on to the regular board agenda item. First item on the agenda will be the Pledge of Allegiance. And Amber, would you start us off? Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Item two, approved meeting agenda for meeting. No changes. Item three, approved minutes from town board meeting of August 18th, 2020. I'll make a motion to approve the town board meeting for August 18th, 2020. Okay. Motion by Patty, second by Amber. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, none. All in favor say aye. Aye. I'm an aye. Anybody opposed? No opposed. Item four, public comment period. People wishing to address the board limited to two minutes each. Public comment period not to exceed 30 in length. Any comments out there? Seeing no re request to speak, we'll move on to monthly reports from departments. Again, as COVID is still on, I've uh, uh, asked the staff to provide their reports to you in writing. If you have any questions or concerns, the staff has asked that you contact them directly and they'll try to answer your questions. Mm -hmm. Item six, consider a possible action on resolution 2020-23, which is amending ordinance 39 schedule of fees and forfeitures, revising the fee amounts for violations to Ordinance 24 of the Building Code. That's what we just discussed in the in the uh, previous uh, public comment period. I'll make a motion to approve Resolution 2023 amending Ordinance Number 39 for the public hearing, which we just. Motion is by made by Patty. Awesome. Second by Dan. Any discussion? Yes, I, I think. Like William, go ahead. Cool. So the $250 goes to the town, right, not to the building inspector, and and the inspection still has to go through, and the person has to pay for it. And yes. I just couldn't remember if that was in there. Yes. Any any ordinance violation fee is collected by the town. The building inspector gets paid when he does it's for for the inspections that he used to do. Okay. And, and so it. Even though a person gets fined for it, they still have to have that inspection, okay? Sure. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I just have one question, if I may. Go ahead, Patty. Chairman, um, I was just curious, was there any violations prior to 9-8 being that we did, effective 9-8? No. I mean, being not. that it was today, I understand that, but I'm just curious. If 
I believe there's there's over a period of time had been some issues where people didn't come and we took action by talking with them sure. basically. Okay. Uh, one comes to mind, uh, one for sure that I'm positive okay. about. All right, mm -hmm. just curious, thank you. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. so, so nine ages, because it was published, there have become effective today and that gives us our, our total amount of public notice, right? Yes. Thank you. Any other questions? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. I'm an aye, but any opposed? No opposed, again. Consider apostle action on resolution uh, 2025, lowering the speed limit on 48th Street South from 45 to 35 miles an hour, effectively from Daly Avenue to Highway 54. I'll, I'll make a motion to approve resolution uh, 20 20-25. The motion is made by Dan. Second. Seconded by Amber. Go for discussion. The comments that we made prior to this through in the legislative uh, session, when this ordinance passes, I will refer those to the city when I make comments to them about the our desire for them to have uh, uh, re lights on the yield signs or w whatever. So whatever we discussed at legislative, I'll share that with them as our re as our request. Go ahead, William. I, I, I will be voting no on this because I voted no the last time, and I hope. And, and the reason why I'm voting no is because I think that the town should have the city should have more communication with the town and, and before they would start questioning our uh, residents. So I'll be voting no. Go ahead, Dan. So and it's my understanding that, and this was in legislative too, that uh, a police chief um, is supporting um, this change, correct? I mean, right. I, I talked to him afterwards. I just want to make sure I understood that, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was in support of that. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. I'm an aye. Any opposed? Aye. No. no. Two opposed. Motion carries three to two. Number eight, consider a possible action on Ordinance 2020-26, amending Ordinance 2, which is regulating burning and pre preventative suppression related to the prohibitation Airborne Sky Lanterns. This ordinance uh, wants to specifically use the words, the use of airborne free-floating sky lanterns, air paper lanterns, and similar devices containing a candle, fuel cell, composed of wax, sea, flammable materials, or other open flames shall be prohibited. That's the change. We'll make a motion that we approve 2026. Resolution Motion by Dan. Second. Second by Patty. Discussion? I, I, I also be voting no against this because it's just like the other one. We don't allow fireworks and uh, these lanterns. We could have a party here and it could be called in that they're shooting these lanterns off and uh, the police do nothing about it. There's nothing in the report that would be that any cause coming. So. Well, what's the sense of having it in the ordinance? No, I'm, I'm voting no against this. Okay, any other comments? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. I have an aye. Anybody opposed? No. One opposed. Consideration and possible action on bids for items placed on the Wisconsin surplus auction site. We have those in front of us somewhere. I believe the car came in at auction value of uh, 8325 $8, dollars And the uh, the uh, positive fan came in at $70. I asked uh, the chief what he thought about it. He says, well, that fan is actually over 31 years old. so." It's served the town well and they replaced it. So I would uh, make a motion that we accept both bids. Yeah, I'll second that. 
Motion by Arnie, second by Dan. Any other discussion? And what social contact or whatever it is, how did that that fair for the years? Don't be I don't believe it. Yeah. Okay. We wouldn't pay for anything. If somebody if somebody wrote it, they, they could get their own request without us even knowing about it. Oh, no, I was just wondering if we knew how much it was worth. Like, that's a reasonable Well, that Carfax is, is primarily the, uh, the, uh, the worthiness of a vehicle. Uh, it's the other services that rate the, the Blue Book. Blue Book. Thank you. Kelly Blue Book. Kelly Blue Book. And with a, with a squad car, you uh, have difficulty rating a value on them. Uh, in the past, I think the other two uh, we sold were in that same range, yeah, eight, it was, it was in eight, eight to nine thousand dollars that we received for them. So that's actually a pretty good used price for a squad car with a lot of idle hours on it, as you can guess. Any other discussion, questions? And none, all in favor say aye. Aye. I'm aye. Anybody opposed? No opposed. Do we have 11 already? No, 10. 10. Center of Positive Action on Revisions of Towns for TM uh, Compensation Policy. Uh, the only change in that uh, policy was the addition of the, uh, uh, what used to be the Urban Towns Committee uh, notation, and it's now called the Town Advocacy Council Workshops and Seminars. So the bullet, bullet point down there, that's the only change to this uh, ordinance. I'll make a motion to approve the ordinance uh, change. Motion by Bill. Second by Amber. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. I'm an aye. Any opposed? No opposed. Number 11, disbursement vouchers. At least I imagine you have some. Is there any questions on the vouchers? Hearing none, applications for operator license. I thought I saw that here somewhere. Yep. You, you got it, Patty? You want to read it? Uh, the following operator's license applications have been processed by the police department. One year, Lacey Carlson for Jammers, Melissa Windsor for Hoozle. And I will make a motion to approve them. Motion by Patty. I'll second. Second by Dan. Any discussion on the uh, operator licenses? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. I have an aye. Any opposed? No opposed. Monthly reports from committees. Public Works Committee has not met. I can tell you from Rick's uh, conversation, it's basically the same stuff as last month mowing, filling potholes, cutting brush down, uh, and getting the road ready for the asphalt work that's coming shortly. Any questions? And the chip seal on the airport is complete done? Yes, all the chip sealing is in done and the uh, markings have been put paved, uh, have been painted on them. Yeah. And, um, that um, was on this voucher for thirty-five thousand. Should yeah. Should be yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Move down to plan commission, Patty. What have you got? Uh, we have a meeting um, next Monday, and uh, on the agenda we have a vinyl fence, and then we're going to be. Um, reviewing the comprehensive plan and that's going to be the transportation element and that's about it it's a short agenda okay in that uh, transportation are you considering uh, walkways and that as part of transportation i'm not quite sure it's that? going to be um it's going to be presented um at the meeting i'm not quite sure all the different elements of the comprehensive plan but i would assume that it would be bicycle routes walkways um 
course roads intersections because we did have a question in regards to what intersections may be um, you know more yeah, hazardous yeah. than the others so mm -hmm. I think we're going to be encompassing all of that okay any questions for Patty public safety hamburger did not meet right no. No. okay nothing new to go there uh, build a WTA meeting. We made our recommendations. That meeting will yes. be in October, correct? Yes. You know the date for sure yet? Uh, it's third Friday. Third Friday. Believe. And that's at the town of Richfield, right? Yes, it is. There will be a, something in the mail, I imagine. All right, the next item is the Airport Commission. Uh, Airport Commission uh, uh, met last week and uh, Surprisingly, uh, things are moving along rather smoothly. Uh, no issues with uh, the equipment other than the aging of our fuel system. Uh, fuel system, the in-ground tanks are now 30 years old. <coughs> uh, the commission has started the process to petition for an engineering firm to design uh, a new fuel system to include a minimum of a 20,000 gallon tank and new dispensers, new high speed dispensers to transfer fuel from the tanks into the fuel trucks. Uh, that project is, does not have a timeline yet, uh, but the commission uh, agreed that we should get the primary engineering done so that if the possibility, there's possibility of funds being available from the state in 2021 and if we get our engineering done and those funds are available we could then get a portion of that and that funding would be 80 percent state funded and 20 percent uh, would be the municipalities paying up the cost of it approximate cost five hundred thousand dollars by the time you put new tanks plumbing and everything into it so um, that's coming the airport commission is also working with the uh, the BOA in Madison, Bureau of Aeronautics. Uh, we've selected a consultant for the height limitation for the north section of runway 20. That's basically over the hospital, that area there. Uh, we have to, um, within the next uh, eight to 10 years, have to have a modification to the heights in case the 2-0 runway has to be redone and you these height limitation projects uh, take several years because of the in-depthness of it and that they have to negotiate with a property owner once they determine if he's got some trees or something that's over the heights they have to basically buy a, a rights from him to uh, cut it down to size so those negotiations take quite a while so that's why they're starting it now with the idea that the project wouldn't be done for eight to 10 years from now. I have some concerns. I mean, I, I was at the airport commission. There's two items that concern me. And, and, and one of them is, is the, uh, the intergovernmental agreement. And it states in the minutes that it was read to this board and that uh, I was told that that's only up to the to the um, commission to approve that. However, it was on the agenda for you, the commission to approve it, and it was not done because surprisingly, Jeremy said that he has some issues that he wants to take up with the city. It's something about his insurance and things like that. I don't think I, Jeremy is, I, that's, a, totally up to the board as you indicated why is jeremy dealing with the county and uh, with the city on that he's a city employee quite frankly yes he's a city employee no. he's not a commissioner no no well, what he has the the two issues that the commission hasn't got resolved yet is the statement that the city may provide us insurance coverage and the second item we have not gotten resolved yet is that the uh, commission wants a minimum of a six month extension period from the expiration date of the agreement to negotiate a new contract. So that's the holdup that, of the agreement that 
that I am aware of. So there would be nothing. There said. would be nothing that Jeremy could could be negotiating because that would not be in that working agreement. Well, that's what he said. I would he have may it have been before you. about his own issues, but not. The but he said I would have it before you now for you to sign, but. But I still got these two things to work on. Okay, that, that, that's one of the concerns. And the other one is exactly what I thought would happen is the over $200,000 hangar that was going up in the town of Grand Rapids area. And that money, that tax money for that buildings on leased land would be coming to this town. Right. But now it's not going to be there. It's going to be a $270,000 hangar. And that's what it's going to be on the tax roll. And that money is going to the city of Wisconsin Rapids because they could provide sewer and water. There was one lot available, and apparently that gentleman that's building it decided that he wanted to move it there from what we were told in case that he would want sewer and water at some point in time. I, I, I guess but... everybody has the option where you want to build. I mean, we lease the land or the... The commission still receives the funds for him leasing that land. The commission, that money does not totally go to the city. But the, if, you're, if you're talking about the shared revenues, the, yes, the personal property taxes, that it would now go to the city rather than being in Grand Rapids. That is correct. And, and that's it. And because the thing of it is, is it's just like I, I, I said in the beginning, just like mid-state technical. That's in the town of Grand Rapids. And if those people want sewer and water, they have to pay for it. Then that's, that's what, it was, in my opinion, should have happened here. If that would have happened, he could have got sewer and water from us, from the city, and we could have collected to 270000 yeah, We don't have an agreement. Yeah, you didn't even go for one. That's oh. what I thought your intergovernmental agreement was going to be. Okay, and the other thing is, is I'm still upset about the fact that that's an airport, and out of the nine people that were there, only three of us had masks on. And I, 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 I Arnie, the, the I planes. I'm not disagreeing with you, Bill. Don't, the planes had, but nobody said anything to them except to me. But the fact is, is that those jets come in there, and there's all kinds of people come in that airport. At least the three people that work in the airport could have had a mask on. And they sat at the table. That's what bothered me, so. I had to get it off my chest, thank you. You're welcome. Now, can I finish the rest of my report? Oh, I don't think, yes you can. <laughs> okay, thank you. You'll have my permission. Okay. Fuel sales, uh, uh, the 100 low lead, which is your uh, private plane jets, is running at 96% of normal, so uh, that's holding up pretty well. Uh, we were able to just uh, get the fuel tank down enough to get a price of very low priced, <laughs> well, 100 low lead because of the market right now. And uh, so we'll uh, reap, instead of 25 cents a gallon, we'll probably get 35 cents a gallon profit on it. Jet A, we're at 66% of last year's volume. Uh, basically, that's what it reflects uh, in the number of planes coming in. It's two-thirds of what we see normally. It's still pretty much uh, private jets uh, from various parts of the country and basically they come from all over from Canada to to Wilton, New York, to Washington, D.C., to Atlanta, Georgia, to uh, Jacksonville, Florida, to Omaha, Nebraska, Cal San Bernardino, California, Denver, Colorado. They're coming from all over with very little restrictions, although those net jets type planes, they do test, at least temperature-wise, before anybody gets on their plane. And as everybody is instructed, we have signs up for signs of mask, and you know, if, if some of our staff didn't follow the, the, what we want, they, they will hear about it if they haven't already. Uh, but people coming in off the plane, Masks on, they have masks on. Everybody comes into our building, they have masks on. The pilots have masks on as soon as they get out of their cockpit, down on the ground. Our attendees that we're going out there, if we're close to them, we have masks on. So we are doing as, as much as we probably can. Uh, 
we had a couple uh, events out there that were noteworthy. We held a Young Eagles event, that's the EA chapter, and what they are is they give free flights to the, uh, I believe it's in the, I'm going to guess, I think it was nine to maybe 15-year-old range children. They had 20 participants this time, but they scheduled them out. Uh, only had uh, three planes that were using rather than seven or eight. Uh, they wanted to uh, get some attendance, and they got 20 kids up in the air and got to have their first flight, which was very interesting. Uh, we had an, a couple of uh, uh, events at the airport to show off the new hangar. The Sunrise Rotary held a meeting out there, and uh, they uh, uh, enjoyed looking at the facilities. Our credit card processor has been giving us difficulties, uh, and we're putting in a new computerized uh, credit card system. We'll actually our fees to use it will actually be thirty dollars less a month than, or fifteen dollars less a month than the old system. Any other questions on the commission? Go ahead, Patty. Um, so coming up as budget. So mm -hmm. do you know of any? Um, things that may be coming up in the conversation about the budget. I know you mentioned a couple, you know, the um, fuel system. Mm -hmm. um, is there, was there anything else that you? No, the the, air, the commission will be operating uh, as we anticipate on a no increased budget. Okay. So and the same that funds that we've asked for last year will ask for this year. Tentatively, we were hoping to be able to return some funds back right. from excess, but with just matching last year's revenues, which we hope we won't be able to do it this year, but we're hoping that as we get into this, we'll start uh, a bit we'll later. start weaning the commission off of the funds of uh, local support okay. and try to get it on, on standalone service. Okay, and perfect. Then, and then my other question was, um, just out of curiosity with the young children mm -hmm. having their flights, what was their, um, responses were they quite excited were they nervous I, just was curious. I wasn't at this last one but I was at the one in the sp spring uh, before last year and uh, there was probably 60 kids then every one of them uh, once they came back they were excited okay. because they actually go through a process they actually give them a log book with their first flight Mm -hmm. uh, listed on it and initialed by the the pilot that took them up and it's actually a log book if they stay in flying that will be with them yeah. for their life uh, nervousness of getting in the plane the first time yes. yeah we had one that I recall get in the plane but then got out and then his parents were there and talked to him a little more and he got back in and when he came and went in and flied and when he got back he was just thrilled <laughs> okay, thanks for that. Okay. Anything else? Move on to public buildings. Uh, uh, we did not have a meeting, uh, but we did have a uh, light on the municipal building above the, by the door where the police go in and out and back there that went bad. We had uh, Mosier come and fix it. Yeah, I see um, it was changed today. Yep, so they got that, they got that fixed. I did get a request um, from some of the staff on some items they would look to us to do in the budget, and we'll review that at budget time. All right, sounds good. Questions? Hearing nothing, economic development. Had a meeting, you're going to have another, correct, Amber? Yep, we have a meeting next week, so no updates from last time. Okay. And recycling solid waste bill? Yes, we, we, we did have a meeting, and um, there seems to be so many complaints about um, the garbage pickup and the recycling and uh, stuff on the road. I don't know if you notice it around your, on your roads where it is, but we see it on 45th Street and 46th Street where it basically seems to be they're crushing things and whatever they're crushing, it's turning out to be a liquid and it sticks to the road. Uh, some people have tried to wash it off. You can't even wash it off. And I've notified them, and they're going to look at it. And uh, we, we had a, a resident attend our meeting, and it was very helpful in um, things that that person had to say. But the main thing is, is that 
in some areas they will pick up things, in other areas they won't touch them. In building materials, if it, anybody has carpeting sticking out, they won't take it, you know, if it's down in there. But in some places, I, I, I drove around, I've seen it, I've seen carpeting sticking out of the containers, and more than four containers, and they still pick it up, so. The other thing is, is um, that we also talked about the water, in the water areas, um, and, I, and I did hand out about the drainage and stuff that was in the August newsletter uh, from the Towns Association, and some of these things pertain to, uh, on page 16, it's uh, having landowners routinely plant crops in the town right away and what you can do. People filling in ditches, according to chapter 86.022, you have no right to fill in a ditch. That belongs to the town. And we talked about that. Drainage problems uh, on stretches of roads because it's not properly, I, I, I know a couple of people that have put in a driveway and they, should have drainage, and, and they don't, and should have a culvert in there. And it's just not being taken care of. And also we talked about, are we going to have next year, hopefully, the wood chipping thing. And uh, our person that was concerned about that, uh, they didn't show up, they were busy that night, but I am going to talk to them on the phone about it yet. And then we have one citizen in the town of Grand, that is, um, Grant? Pardon? Did you say Grant? Yeah, a person in the town of Grant that is taking up a, a composting site. And that person is with, uh, actually is what they will do is they collect compost stuff and then they treat it so it's uh, growable and they kind of take out the things that don't grow and then they want to sell it. And she was at our meeting uh, one other one, and so 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 we're looking at that about compost. Yeah, and where I know people several people have gone there. I didn't didn't know where you're going with your mm -hmm. conversation, but I know several people have taken stuff there. Yeah, okay. less than a city pass. It's free. Right. Yes. Okay. Um, the liquid on the road. Oh, and, and the groundwater. As far as the groundwater and the drainage and stuff like that, and. It seems like Hunter Ridge now has come up with them. Whenever they get a call in the office, they, they, they refer to me, which, which is, they're supposed to be because we are on the water committee. Right. And um, the Hunter Ridge one is something that we'll have to discuss. But anyways, I've got it set up now with the um, uh, emergency management and the DNR, I still can't get a date from him where we're going to set up and, and have a meeting after they review some of this material, but they're still closed up. So that's it, if there's any questions. Go ahead, Dan. Well, Bill, on these uh, complaints that you're getting regarding um, the weight pickup, are we documenting each one of them? Are they filling out some sort of um, form so we have documentation that there's been a complaint and the date. And the I, I, yes, yes, I I, I so try to do that, but when they get it in the office and they email me, okay. that's where it comes to first. I I don't get them myself directly, so that's the documentation of that. Okay, all right. Is that something good to know when we negotiate? We should bring these forward. Yeah, yeah and you know. Hey, the contract states that if you have a problem, you call uh, uh, the, the recycler. You're supposed to call advance. So You're supposed to call advance disposal. Mm -hmm. And then if it's not resolved in two days, then the town takes over. Yep. Well, uh, we get these the same day it happens. Mm -hmm. well, one of the strangest one was is a person had four containers out and they were told they could only have two. So they called over there and the person said, yeah, you can only have two. Then they called back a little later and said, oh, I made a mistake, you can have four. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that, that's, uh, that's how that got solved. Yeah. Four okay. 30 gallon. And, you know, there, there is a lot of people concerned about the recycling and, and I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you don't have anything firm with the DNR guy? What mm -hmm. is Nothing yet, but 
I can tell you that uh, the water table is down probably over a foot from what it was at its high this year. So it is drastically dropping. Right. Down a foot is quite a substantial in a few months. Yeah. At least that's our high water mark on the, at the Lions Pond to where it is now. Yes, Bill, with that meeting that we had, not this past meeting, but the meeting before the, when we spoke to the state DNR, they had indicated that they dropped um, the uh, water table on Lake Nepco because of the fact that they were doing repairs on the dam. So that is, um, that reflects at our water table down here so that the water table has a place to you know, our water has a place to go and drain down to. Yeah, at the end of 48th Street where Hava lives, you know, that you have in that speed limit sign, their, their water table was four feet. That, that's what it was, four feet. Four feet higher than normal. No, 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 four feet and down four and feet. you got water. Yeah. Yeah. And okay, so their well went dry now because of Metalco. Mm -hmm. And then Metalco has put in some ponds and it's really reduced it here too. And they gotta watch out that they don't lose some water in their cranberry box, you know, from that, so. Yeah, the water table is the big thing and they're doing something also on the river, so. Uh, that helps. No, the Dom is not doing anything this year. They were, they were gonna take it down, but they're not. Uh, any questions for Bill? Any other questions? Legislative, we met, did some ordinances, updates, uh, nothing scheduled for the next one as of yet. Personnel, Dan, do you want to report on your ad hoc? Yeah, we can do that. Uh, we did have a, uh, we had a meeting um, just to discuss, uh, I guess, just look at our current insurance policies. We are meeting again tomorrow. And we have a person that is going to kind of help us who is very knowledgeable in health care insurance going to come in and help us with, get a direction on, on um, getting some quotes in and seeing where we are. Okay. So, yeah, it was a very productive meeting. Any questions? Reports from individual board members. Dan. Hey, I got them. Bill. Uh, yes. Um, um, I, I don't, there, there's a, that we can use anytime we want the projector and it works with the computer and Patty might want to say something about that, uh, how we can do, do um, our, PowerPoint. A, a, our annual meeting on it because it's a PowerPoint presentation. So. Okay. Yeah, and one more thing is there's, been a resident, two residents have requested, and I talked to the clerk today about it. With all this about postal and returning absentee ballots, that they wondered if, if the town could put a box outside to put those in, and that, the clerk has assured me that that mailbox that's out there is, has a camera visible, and it is very secure. People even pay their taxes through right. that. So. So I, 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 she's going to come up with something. Um, okay. Amber, got anything? Not that I Hey. I just wanted to make a comment on the financial statement, which we sort of bypassed at every meeting lately. But I noticed that we're going to be paying off um, a balance of thirty-three thousand um, on November the eighth. That covered a miscellaneous siren, a tanker, furnace, air conditioning, and then. Uh, in January of 21, we'll be paying off the public works truck, a squad, um, some fire department gear. So that's good news. Good news. Okay, um, the only update we can give the uh, people on the reassessment uh, is that uh, it's not done yet, but they're expecting open books to be October 15th and 16th, I believe. 15th and 16th, um, 15th, 10 to, Thursday. Yep, Thursday, 10 to 4.30. The 16th is a Friday, 9 to noon. Mm -hmm. And then Board of Review, November 5th, 4.30 to 6.30. Or whatever. Well, yeah. Okay. So I would assume that they meet the, those that are getting a, uh, changes to their assessment will be 
receiving letters Even from Walmart. Walmart said that they have to get notices out 30 days ahead of the okay. board review, I believe. Is what she said. So by October, October 5th, yeah. the letters should be yep. received. Should be received. I was just wondering about that. Uh, her conversation, I think, uh, which was indirectly uh, given to me, is most of the cases the people call them if they got questions on the on their tax changes, and they resolved the greater share of them prior to uh, having prior. to go into go into board of reviews. So the residents actually call and speak to Bomar. Right. If somebody will call here, they are encouraged oh. to just call Bomar direct, okay. and they can usually work it out with them before even having them come to anything. Perfect. Well, open book is the best place to go. Yeah. If you're not satisfied at the open book, then go to the board of review. Mm -hmm. I think Bulmar appreciates that. Plus, if he, if there is a question, you get in contact with them earlier, then they yeah. can they can have a little more time to research it this than a snap judgment as to it's right or wrong. Mm -hmm. um, there will be uh, an open house format for the safety improvement options for 48th Street at W and Griffith Avenue. Uh, that'll be from 4.30 till 6.30 on uh, September 29th and that will be in this in this service area of the of the garage so they can set up. Uh, there will be the, uh, an engineer that is uh, Drawing up the safety options, there will be two options for each intersection, and Roland Hawk, the County Highway Commissioner, will be there to take questions from anybody. Can you confirm? Did you say the 29th? 29th has changed to the 29th. Okay. okay. Yeah, I, that's what I said. The September 22nd, 22nd previously scheduled date had to be changed due to availability of the engineer. So that's a public. Um, public public invited, in, invited mm -hmm. and they can come and look at the different presentations of the intersections. Yep. Make comments. Make comments. They will they write, write comments down. And then from there, there it actually they goes back to the county, mm -hmm. and it's a county project. The, the county will be requesting safety funds for it, and we can have some input, but I don't know how much input. That's what I was wondering. How um, how much of the public the, input will they take at, as advisement? Yeah, that's that's hard to say. But I've I've seen several of these, especially when uh, uh, Wood County was doing uh, uh, the County U project that goes to the beer and mill. That the residents' conversations were taken into effect of uh, of how they writ, wrote the project. Okay, so it's so not just based on it's not dollars. just it's not just bam bam it's all done they will listen to the public and and public sometimes has often than not more often than not have good right suggestions, suggestions. when was that originally scheduled 22nd. 22nd i sent you an email that was no yeah right right okay and, I, got one, here. Yeah, and sure. I just got confirmation this morning that he needed to change it all right nothing else on the agenda future agenda items will Tackle those as they come. And 16 is a motion to adjourn. I'll make that motion. Patty. Second by Amber. Any discussion? They're not all in favor say aye. 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 We're adjourned. Thank you very much.